Okay, so you should have on all your artboards some reflecting and repeating lines like so. So all, all 8, 10, 12, 16 slice mandala should have something like this where it's re repeating and reflecting. I'm now going to focus in on only on the 12 slices mandala. So I'm going to lock my 16, lock my 10, lock my 8, lock them, and then uh, go to the 12 slices mandala. So I'm double clicking on the 12 slices mandala layer here and I'm just moving it over. So here's some notes about what we're going to do next. We're going to create a drawing area boundary. It's going to basically a, be a visual cue to tell you draw only in that area and then we're going to create a clipping mask that will um, eliminate anything that you, that you draw outside of that drawing area boundary. Okay, so this is really, really crucial right here. You have to do this exactly like I'm doing it because when I print your laser, uh, when I print your mandalas on a laser printer, I do two at a time. So I'm just going to copy artwork from your Illustrator file to my Illustrator file that's double as wide as yours. And so if you don't do this exactly like I do, then it creates more work for me, and then I'm not happy, and then your laser, your, 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 uh, your mandala will not be printed correctly. All right? So do this exactly like I do it. All right, so I'm going to lock this and hide it. So now here we are on the 12 slices mandala. So I have my 12 slices mandala layer unlocked. Um, um, and I'm going to just create a new, completely brand new layer. And I'm going to name it 12 slices mandala drawing area boundary. Okay. Like that. So I'm going to lock my 12 slices mandala layer so I don't accidentally draw on it. So now the only thing I have unlocked is the 12 slices mandala drawing area boundary. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to get our rectangle tool, uh, not rectangle, triangle tool, which is a polygon. So I'm going to click on this tool and click on the polygon tool. And I'm just going to click once somewhere here. Just click one time. And what you want is a three-sided polygon, in other words, a triangle. So hit OK. So it currently has a fill. I actually don't want a fill. So I'm going to take that and take that away. And I'm going to make it have a stroke. I'm going to choose purple. You can pick whatever color you want. And I'm going to make it relatively fat, like so. So if you zoom into there, Command Plus, you'll see that the, well, first of all, the the line is black, the path is black. So I'm going to change that. The way you change the color of the actual path is you can double click on the icon here, right on the icon in your layers panel, and you get this this color here. You can change it to whatever you want. So I'm going to choose um, gold. Hit OK. So now the gold, the gold is the path, the purple is the actual stroke. Right now, the path is in the middle of the stroke, and I don't want that. I want the path to be on the inside of the stroke. Huh? I said that wrong. I want the the path path to be on the outside of the stroke. So the way we change that is we go to this, this little icon, the stroke right here. And if you don't see all these options, go up here and choose, choose show. You might, you might see this because you don't see all the options. Click on that and click on show options. So the stroke currently is a line in the middle. We want it aligned on the outside. So I'm going to click on it. Bingo. So now the path is on the outside and the stroke is on the inside. So that's what we need. Um, I'm going to get my black arrow tool and just move this over a bit like this. So it's basically down. See this vertic perfectly vertical line? I'm just going to put it slightly to the right of that like this. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna here's where you have to do this precisely like I do it. Please don't deviate from this. Do it exactly like I do it, so that printing your mandala becomes easy. Get your white arrow tool. Type an A. Your arrow tool becomes a, a white arrow tool. Click away from your triangle, and now click on this icon, uh, this anchor point down below. So click on it. Now you have that exact anchor point. Now we want it to be the exact center of our mandala. So the exact center is six and six, six in the X, six in the Y. So here the transform, make this a six and make this a six. 
So if you hold on your space bar and look to the center, there it is. It's perfectly in the middle. If I'm going to zoom in, you can see that anchor point is exactly where all the lines intersect, so exactly in the middle. Command 0. So now what I want to do is grab this anchor point. So I'm going to click away from it and grab that anchor point. And it's, I want it to be perfectly up here. So its position, perfect position, is 6 in the X. Like that. So it puts it right here, horizontally X. And then Y is going to be 0. So very at the very, very, very top, Y is 0. So there it is. So if I zoom in, if I zoom into that, Command Plus, you can see that it's perfectly bisecting that black line. All right, perfectly bisecting it. That's where it needs to be. All right. The last point you have to manually do. So I'm going to click away and grab this anchor point and put it somewhere kind of in this region and then zoom in. Here's where you need to zoom in. I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to, whatever I do, this path that I have, my gold path, that gold path is going to be perfectly in the middle of this blue line. And I'm going to put my anchor point. I'm going to drag it up to the top of my white, my white artboard. But also look to see that it's perfectly bisecting that blue line. Like that. So if you look down, the purple and the blue should be perfectly parallel. The edge of it should be perfectly parallel all the way down. So you don't want, here's where a problem problems will occur. If you have that, that's the problem. See how the, the white is getting thinner and thinner? So you don't want that. You want to make sure you're perfectly bisecting that blue line. Just like that. Okay. Command zero, zoom out. So now we have this drawing area. All right. So that drawing area is just a visual indication to tell you draw only in this area. Don't draw anywhere else for the 12 slices mandala. You should pause this video and now go do the exact same thing for the 16, 10, and 8 slices mandala. All right, so now that you're back, um, let's move on. So now we're going to take this drawing area boundary, twirl it down. You see that I have a polygon here, that's your triangle. And I'm going to unlock my 12 slices mandala layer. And I have this path. So I'm going to take my polygon and I'm going to option drag it down into, well, let's get my, let's get the correct tool. So let's make sure we get this tool, selection tool. I'm going to option drag it down. So option, drag it down here. So it's now reflecting and repeating itself, just like all the artwork. Okay, should look sim something similar to this. Now, I'm going to rename the polygon. Instead of polygon, I'm going to make it obvious to what it's going to be. This is going to be called the clipping mask. Like that. It's very important that the clipping mask be the topmost layer. Because when we create a clipping mask for this layer, the top object becomes a clipping mask. So in other words, if this clipping mask were the second layer, then when we created the clipping mask uh, transformation, then the path would become the clipping mask. And that's not what we want. All right, so the clipping mask must be the top. So here's what you do. With the clipping mask at the top, select the, the layer for your 12 slices mandala. Make sure that's selected. Make sure you select the little circle to the right of it also. So you have these objects selected. Now go to the bottom of your uh, layers panel and click on this icon. It's the make release clipping mask. When you click on it, bingo. And now clips everything that's outside of the clipping mask is not visible. Anything inside is visible. Okay. Now if you draw again, so get your brush tool. And if you brush outside, it's not visible. Command Z brush outside it's not visible if you brush from the outside to the inside the outside stuff is not visible but the inside stuff is so if you do the opposite inside to outside the inside stuff is visible okay 
So the clipping mask is no longer the top layer and it doesn't really matter. So in fact, this is what we should do. Let's put the clipping mask layer right above blue lines and lock it. If you hide it, then it no longer becomes a clipping mask. So don't ever uncheck, uh, don't ever uncheck the, the eyeball for it. So we always want that clipping mask to be visible. All right. So then what's cool about this is if you have all your layers locked and including the, the drying area boundary, you have your artwork. Oh, by the way, the, what you see here, this drawing, whenever you don't want it, just turn off the eyeball for it. And there you go. It's just going to disappear. The clipping mask itself is actually doesn't have a stroke. So once you make it a clipping mask, it doesn't have a stroke. So I'm going to lock that back up. So here's what's cool. Don't delete art, just, just group it. So if you have all these layers locked and everything else locked, so you don't accidentally select anything, if you go command A and then command G, you make a group, don't delete it, just lock it and hide it. Now start over. Now start creating a new piece of art. Whatever you want to do. And then when you decide, oh, that's not good, Command A, select it all, Command G, group it, lock it, and hide it. So then you could have basically variations of different um, 12 slices of mandalas, each in its particular group. All right, so now your task is to go create the clipping mask for the 16, 10, and 8 slices of mandala. Make sure you do it exactly like I did. The only difference would be this top corner would be different for every for every uh, um, um, slice because it's a different angle.